Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mitchell and today Justin and I will be discussing about respect. We do these Instagram lives every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And if you guys find this video content of value, you guys can show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equal to the value of this video. Our details will be in the description and on the screen. And of course, if you guys have any questions or concerns, Feel free to send me, Mr. Mitchell Tang, or uh, Justin, aka Thumb Action, a direct message, and we'll respond to you shortly. And without further ado, I am going to add Justin on the line. What's up, everybody? What's up, Yaku? How you doing? Hello, Bree. How are you? Donate a Happy Meal account. <laughs> I got, I got one of those. So yeah, today is. I don't know. No, it's not today, but uh, it's Pokemon twenty fifth anniversary. So I, I kind of had to. Uh, Throw a little bit of, you know, I got to show some love for, for my Pokemon. Um, but yeah, how's everybody doing? Annoyed, but it is okay. What's bothering you, Bree? Hello, Danielle. How are you? You know what, Bree? I had a feeling today was one of those days where not everybody's feeling the best. So, you know, I got, I got a little some candles, you know, I'm laying some candles. I'm trying to get that scent. I'm trying to calm myself down a little bit, too. <clears throat> oh. So that means that uh, they're going to deliver another one to you, right? <laughs> this is a safe place. <laughs> All right. Justin. Oh, was it was it something that you needed today? Okay, Daniel, I'll go check it out once uh once we're done after the show. I know Justin uh had to go and do something really quick, so I'm just waiting for him to hop on. But yes, it is extremely cold. I have the heater on and everything, but it's still Yeah, San Francisco, old houses. Not very good heating system. So uh yeah. Cat food and notebooks for school. Oh, okay. Maybe hit up some Walmart or Target. Yo, what's up, Justin? Okay, I see you on right now. Let me send you an invite. <clears throat> it's 80 here? Oh, my. Yeah, that's that's nice. Well, I mean, to me, cold is uh, 55, so, you know. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Justin? It'd help if I had these on the right way. What's up, man? <laughs> what's good? What's good? Man, chillin', chillin'. How you got doing? show that show that Pokemon love. All right, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I have I'm no stuck. love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, good stuff. Bree Bree is having a kind of one of those days because Amazon um delivered her package to the wrong location. Oh, of course they did. So we're gonna we're gonna make her day feel a lot better. What's up, Justin? Other Justin and Marina. What's up, folks? Thank y'all for showing up. Miss not so roast me, or you know, just boasting me, <laughs> which is great. <clears throat> mm -hmm. show, show you some love, man. Yeah, show me some love. Show me some love. Today is uh, to, today is all about respect. Today is all about mm -hmm. respect, right, Justin? Yeah, you gotta get that respect. You gotta take it. You gotta you know? take them. Mm -hmm. You gotta take no, not film, Mitchell. That's assault. You gotta take the respect. Mitchell. You gotta take it from them. What's okay. up, Trouble? Uh, what's Trouble's up? here. Time to get what's started. Up? Don't, she, what's up? Oh, <laughs> she said, just don't to start. Just show you what I'm working with here. Let's <laughs> show you what I'm working with. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to stay healthy a little bit, Justin. So uh, I'm going to drink this plant-based organic protein. Yaku, it's for you. What's up, y'all? Mm -hmm. Yaku in here? I didn't see him. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's up, Mike? Mm -hmm. I am drinking boba. Mm -hmm. This is not plant-based. But it is delicious. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Got to be about that delicious life sometime. She asked you what you got. She asked you what you got. Be careful what you say, Justin. This is a test. Oh. You know woman. You know woman. <laughs> it's a test. <laughs> it's What's up, a Healer test. Moon? 
it's a, it's test. a test I'm not too worried about. I got that uh <laughs> it's safe. Uh, this this is this is that Oreo. It's, it's Oreo. That o- Oreo yeah. boba. Oreo boba, that's yeah. right. Or, yeah, with the black tea and the uh the egg pudding on the side with the Oreo stuff, it's 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 hit. It's dessert. Like I just ate a little lunch, so mm-hmm. I gotta get my dessert in early so I'm not eating donuts at like six in the afternoon. You know what I mean? It happens. But then, Eat it, but then get, it happens. Get 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 it, get it in early so I can hopefully burn it off a bit. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I got Oreo. If if I got Oreo, I think I'll get chewed out. So um, <laughs> yeah. If it's not milk tea and boba, she yeah. said no. Uh, see, it's, there you go. It's, mm-hmm. see, it's it's black. That's not boba tea. They still it is they, it is boba tea. Fix this, you got so, uh, you, you got to expand your mind. Okay. Yeah, Julie. Expand Yo, mine. Oh, I'm you a fancy. Little... Hold on, hold on. Let's let's try to uh, figure this out. <laughs> she right. said no. Not expanding. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, we got some. I think we got a boba pear and stuff in mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. I love Oreo milk tea. It's not <laughs> milk even... tea, is it? Uh, it is. No, it is. Milk tea. <laughs> don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You have to run ten miles. Well, you know. <laughs> No, uh, who wants to live forever? You know? <laughs> should, should we talk about immortality next? No. <laughs> who wants Who wants yeah. to live forever? Yeah, could say I don't even know you anymore. I don't know myself, man. I'm not as hard as I used to be. It's too much mm-hmm. like sparkling water and avocados out here, and Lacroix, you know? and yeah, yeah. There's too. I used much to be. I used to, <laughs> I used to be from the hood. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it used to be vet soda and pickle chips. Yeah. Son. Like mm-hmm. it used to be hood shit. Now I've been out here. Mm-hmm. And you know I'm drinking bubbly water. And, yep. You know you got um, soft, Justin. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. But, you know, but you know, it's all good. A little bit. It's all good. I'm getting, you know, it's, you don't I'm need getting, that high stress level. That cortisol needs to stay low. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, man, I'm straight, man. I'm getting. Uh, I'm. Uh, oh Jesus! I was like, what? <laughs> I had to read that for a second. I was like, please don't be so dark. Like, yeah, please yeah. don't be. What, uh, Nah, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah. I, ref- I reflect back on my uh, on my youth. Sometimes I was harder back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Bring back Mason. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I'm getting softer in my old age. I'm getting a little bit more sentimental. You know? <laughs> Why <I'm> Oreo? Strong... <laughs> Oreo. Yeah. Why Oreo? Hey, I drink regular just black milk tea. You know, I drink. T- I, I, you know what? I drink a variety. I drink the fruity. Teas, I drink all the, you know, I like to crowd around. You know, you said soft, just. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting soft, man. I ain't make, I don't make. Don't get me wrong, I still put somebody head in the ground, but mm-hmm. it ain't like it used to be. You know, mm-hmm. I used to be kind of, I used to be kind of, you know, like Shrek. No, not like Shrek. That was <laughs> that's so mean. You're a mean person. Uh, let's, let, let's move on to some respect, <laughs> Justin. That that first, wasn't a respectful comment. I'm gonna tell you that right respect. now. Respect. First slide, guys. Um, <laughs> all right. Respect. Um, what does it look like, Justin? We're gonna talk about respect right now. Mm. What does it look like? <laughs> oh man. Oh um, yeah. See that look now. See, let me focus. Y'all got me wilding out right now. Um, mm-hmm. Well, as you say, you know, how you treat others is a direct reflection of how much respect yeah. you have for yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's what it is. You know, I, mm-hmm. I think that's like my basis for uh, how I judge it. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I do think it definitely is, you know, about yeah, if you don't have, yeah, if you don't have mm-hmm. self-respect, if you don't have a certain value you put on yourself, Mm-hmm. Or you don't have certain standards as to how you mm-hmm. want to live your life, or up, yeah. deal with yeah. other people, or pro- or approach folks. Um, you, in my my in my mind, in my opinion, is going to be reflected in how you treat others. You know, uh, you know, if you don't respect your own time, how are you going to respect anyone else's time? You know, in the sense of like showing up on time or early. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, you know, keeping a commitment, you know. Um, yeah. 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 And then the second bullet point is no one can respect you if you don't respect yourself first. Mm-hmm. How much do you believe in that, Justin? Oh, to the core. 
I, I believe in that fully, fully. You know, um, it, it's yeah. If if you like you said, if you don't carry yourself with respect, mm-hmm. like people can pick up and sense that man, and mm-hmm. like they're not going to treat you accordingly. Mm-hmm. You know, if if you don't respect yourself, no one else is going to respect you. Mm-hmm. You know, or they're gonna act like they respect you and walk all over you. Yeah. You know what I mean? People only do to you what they allow, what you allow mm-hmm. them to, and then mm-hmm. you know that's real. You said that that's a real point, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's it's about valuing yourself. It's about having your own limits, your own boundaries. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about you know putting some of your needs first. You know, it's about being honest with what you really want and what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it, I think once you make that stuff clear to people, and they realize like, oh, like you know, this person's serious about this, they will act and treat you accordingly. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, in regards, if you put that level of respect on yourself, I think that's naturally you're going to have that level of respect for someone else who is like, if, even if they are similar to you, I think you should have a base level of respect for like all people. But like if you know if if they if you hold yourself to that higher regard and you meet somebody of a like mind, you're gonna you know because you understand what it takes to like <clears throat> keep that mentality and keep that mindset. And so, and and I feel like what what when when we say like what does it look like? A lot of the times when we talk about respect, it's somehow in some ways putting you out of your comfort zone because not a lot of people like confrontation. And sometimes, yeah, and sometimes if you don't agree with them, you might have to speak up for yourself. And that in itself makes a lot of people feel a little bit uncomfortable to be like, well, that's not something I agree with. And I know it's it's not really stepping on their toes, but it might be. You, you, ne- you never know. But it's kind of well, like standing up for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Go ahead. I'm going to cut you off. Man. Oh, no, no. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty uh, that's pretty much what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it goes to the whole thing of like, I mean, you know, me might be getting ahead of ourselves, but the term respectfully disagree is like lost Mm -hmm. in this day and age. You know, Um, you know, we have a lot of like cancel culture Mm -hmm. and all this stuff. It's like the idea of I don't necessarily I don't I hear you out. I'm listening to you. I don't Mm -hmm. agree with you, Mm -hmm. but I still have respect for you and I still have respect for you know, your beliefs. Your, your, your beliefs, you as a person, too. Yeah, and you as a person. So it's this, mm-hmm. it's this weird thing now where it's like, I feel like I always feel like that should be the baseline, mm-hmm. and I don't think it is anymore, and I think that's probably why we have a lot of the issues that we have to this day, mm-hmm. you know, that we're mm-hmm. dealing with and the fallout of a bunch of stuff. It's just that, yeah, yeah a level of just a respect for a person, mm-hmm. just regardless of anything else, just for that person is is gone you know it doesn't it doesn't exist it's now like it's camps it's now either you believe what i believe or you're the bad guy and that's on all sides left right Mm -hmm. in the middle you know what i mean it's like there's no middle now yeah yeah there's no gray areas yeah there is no gray area there's just no like hey this isn't for me but i respect you for i respect you so you know i'm you know back off yeah. it's like mm-hmm. that that whole idea is lost man it, mm-hmm. i think it comes to the fact that people don't to kind of go back to the original point i think it's because people like they they misunderstand having self-respect mm-hmm. uh in the terms of like being like ego driven and like you know their own wants and needs not necessarily you know which it, which it is different it is a difference. People, it's not so much as like respect me, respect what I'm doing. It's, you know, um, I believe this, so I'm right. It's more like a I'm right sort of thing. You know what I'm? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, it's one sided. It's, it's, it's yeah. So, so it's yeah. coming from an ego place. It's not coming from like self worth and and actually like in my opinion, where respect really comes from. That's all ego driven. Yeah, I'm right. You're wrong. This is mm-hmm. how it should be, and I know it's right. And you, you know, and mm-hmm. it, it, there's. No kind of like I said. No, it, in that regard, if you're ego driven, you don't have self respect because then you can't be self reflective. Mm-hmm. You can't be honest with yourself. Yeah. You can't self criticize because it's only thinking. one. It's unilateral thinking. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. It's unilateral thinking. Perfect. Yeah, great, great phrase. But yeah, mm-hmm. it's you know ego driven, which means you know you should always say we do more to 
uh, avoid. We do more than to, to, than to gain pleasure. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and it hurts, man. When your ego yeah. get damaged, you know, as dudes especially. You oh, know, yeah. Me, you know, when your ego get damaged, that shit is devastating. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and nobody really likes that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's easy, you know. It's easy. Yeah. And so when you come from a place of, like, ego and not necessarily a place of self-respect, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you view the world, and that's how the world views you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at what Yaku said earlier too. Um, people who respect others it, tend to be a magnet for like-minded people. Yeah, I, I feel like the yeah. type of energy that you give out, you tend to attract different type of people. Now, you 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 you're gonna you're gonna attract all kind of people, but I, I still believe that you you will you have a better sense of filtering out the ones you don't like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so another point was to, you know, being attentive to the speaker. So, you know, Justin, you know, we, we talk a lot about relationships. So this is more so for, like, a relationship. So when someone's trying to talk to you, it's very important to, to pay 100% attention, not looking at the phone. I feel like that has caused a lot you know like little, little things like that just start to add up every day every day just adding it right mm -hmm. and i think that's because you're around them you know and because covid too right now it doesn't make it any easier so it's like well i see you all the time like i don't really need to be hearing you all the time mm -hmm. and i think that's that's uh we're losing a lot of respect of each other it's not so much you losing respect I feel like you just get too comfortable with that person, and then that kind of leads to like, okay, you, you, it looks like you don't respect them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, once again, it's it's you know, like you just said, mm -hmm. just you know, showing yeah. showing a base level of respect. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. someone's really talking to you. Don't don't look at your phone. Put it yeah. away. Put, Put it, it away. Down. I mean, and that's in relationships. Mm -hmm. That's just in life. Yeah, I feel. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, what else did they say? Yaku said, oh, respect, respect, respect. Okay, oh, no, I, okay. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Uh, you getting this from Jordan Peterson? No, I didn't. Uh, but I should have. Or Kurt. Lu Who's Kurt? Lewin. Uh, respect should be presence without needing to ask. Yes, but also respect. Uh, so, Justin, um, the other Justin said, respect should be a presence without needing to ask. Yeah, but also you have to. There's a there's a way where someone could look at you and you I respect doesn't just come from one place where it's it's not what you do, it's not also what you say is but it's also how you present yourself too. I think that but see, I I will say there is a caveat to that. For instance, mm -hmm. like you said respect should respect should be given. You shouldn't even have to ask mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And it depends. Like if you don't respect me but if we don't interact with each other, I don't really care. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Now, yeah, if you yeah, want to yeah, interact yeah. with me and, and, and uh, you know, like, you're gonna say to your world or something like that, then, yeah, you, you better have a level of respect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or it's going to be an mm -hmm. issue. And, you know, and I mean, mm -hmm. this ain't prison. And it, I see it that, is, Jared. You know, Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this mm -hmm. ain't prison. Yeah. This isn't like a, oh, you better respect me or it's going to be, <laughs> not in that regards, but like, mm -hmm. you know, you will not be condescending. You will not, yeah. you know, talk down to me and that's in anything once again that's like friendships work or relationships you know i do think that especially over time uh in a relationship the the the, the talking down to your partner can definitely like pop up and take a toll mm -hmm. you know and it hits like, home well, harder too like when they say it because yeah yeah yeah, and then you know you uh, like, and speaking from like you know personal experience in the past, it's like you know I have been talked down to, and you know I had that thought of like if this was anyone else, I'd be cussing you out right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> so you know it is a it is a weirder dynamic when you talk about like respect and like treating mm -hmm. someone with respect in in the confines of a relationship because you might be given certain privileges that an ordinary person wouldn't wouldn't have extended to them. You may be given a certain level of grace. Yeah. 
you know what I mean, <laughs> than yeah. someone else that that you wouldn't give someone like not mm-hmm. only on the streets but like not even in your workplace. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is like you know it is a complicated thing. Mm-hmm. You know I don't think that like respect can't necessarily be taught. I do believe like people can. Well, I won't say that. I think at a certain point. If someone's a disrespectful person, I feel like they're just disrespectful throughout their whole life. You know, I don't think you necessarily instill respect into someone. Now, you can let them know that if they don't talk to you, once again, with your self-respect, which kind of goes back to what we were saying earlier, if you if they don't talk to you and, and interact with you within your your personal, like, parameters of what you consider respect, there will be problems. So if they want to talk yeah. to you. You know, there's a baseline. Know, there's a yeah. It's like even if they're fundamental a baseline person, mm-hmm. they know they ain't gonna talk. You know, it's the whole freak. Yeah. You ain't gonna talk to me like that. You know, yeah. <laughs> you, know yeah. I mean? you may be popping off at somebody else, but you yeah. ain't gonna talk to me like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah. so there's that baseline of respect, and then there's that uh, threshold where you pass, where they look at you and they respect you for that. Yeah, it's like they respect you because of you're this person. Yeah, um, and, then, and this thing's weird, but it's it, it, that is one hundred percent true. Yeah, uh, phones should uh, are never put down, and uh, you know, at a dinner table or anything, when I'm trying to talk to anyone, I try my best not to even have my phone out. I have it in my pocket. I vibrate. If it rings, uh, you know, I, I I look at it and I put it away. If it's really important, then I look at it. Then you know, I'll yeah. excuse myself, but I'm not just gonna pick up the phone and just be like, hold up. No, that's just disrespectful, right? Um, yeah, and on that and on that note, though, I know I've seen this online too, where like people are uh, maybe they're dating or like they might be in their Arena. relationship, mm-hmm. and like they'll go to uh, they'll go to dinner, and like uh, it was a meme I saw, like the dude had his phone and he had it face down, and it was like the girl was like, "Oh, if you have your phone face down like that, what you trying to hide?" And the dude was like, "No, I'm trying to give you my undivided attention." You know what mm-hmm. I mean? <laughs> so you know. Which you know goes into like respect and privacy and trust and yeah. everything. It's like you know some like things don't always appear yeah. as what they seem. Like you know, be you know if if someone I take that as like if I'm talking to somebody and they like put their phone down in a way to speak to me, I look at it like oh wow they're engaged in what mm-hmm. I'm saying. <clears throat> I you would know, even take really... it to the next level too. Oh my bad, um, didn't mean to cut you off, but no, yeah, you did. I put, that was good. Um, like I would just keep it in my pocket. I wouldn't even take it out. It's not going to even be visible. It's not going to, mm-hmm. that's not even on your mind. Like, yeah. Mitchell's phone is out. Like, no, it's not even there. Yeah. 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 No, I definitely see that. I definitely see that. I don't know, though, the kids wear these tight ass pants nowadays. They might not be able to sit down with their phone <laughs> in their pocket. You know what I'm saying? Put it on your lap, under, <laughs> under, under your leg. I don't know. Figure it you out. You know, right? they got these tight, they wear these tight <laughs> pants. Like, it's a whole nother world. I mean, I don't, I don't. I don't necessarily disagree with tight pants, depending on the individual that's wearing it. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> y'all, who said <laughs> earlier? Phones are never put down in most situations. Even yeah. dinners have phones <clears throat> being used. Yeah. That's why you think brands are used to so much. Them, yeah, we yeah. we are most definitely into mm-hmm. uh, information overload. Man. Yeah, and uh, can... agree. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, no, I was looking at Breeze. I agree with uh, with it. Starts where you are. When you're a kid, basically, uh, if that's not instilled in you, you grow. Yeah, you won't have respect for anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Tyson mm-hmm. said, "Mike Tyson can punch respect into people." I mean, I do believe that he can also punch the life out of people. So that might be <laughs> yeah. more of a uh, yeah of a you know like you know mm-hmm. wanting to live response. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> hey, you know, yeah. Tight, yeah. skinny jeans. Yeah. I said also, people have people yeah. with different perspective in terms and jeans of might look perspective. extra nice. Yeah, people. Yeah, uh, yeah mm-hmm. people could have different perspectives, but even then, I think there is a, a baseline level. Yeah, there's a baseline, and then there's like you have to earn it. So hey, I wear like, skinny jeans. No, I'm talking about guys who wear skinny jeans, not women. Okay, I'm old. I'm from the. I'm from. <laughs> as bitch as old. I'm, I'm women, you can wear whatever you want. Yeah, I'm that's from the why they like. <laughs> They let you wear anything in the club. There's a reason why. Um, Yeah, but, um, you know, know, to kind of close off this uh, first slide, you know, being attentive, not looking at your phones. Uh, Another example would be having giving privacy to that person because privacy 
it goes a long way, right? Giving them the space and the time. The time could be time away from each other or time with each other. Yeah. 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 But yeah, once again, yeah, like even that, be, yeah, being respectful of time. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. No. And then, um, yeah, yeah how do you evolve. earn it? Oh. How do you earn respect? You know, you gotta, uh, mm-hmm. you gotta take it. You gotta take it. There nah, you go, Justin. Think, you, <laughs> you let him know. You gotta take it. <laughs> no, I, think the, I, th- I think the number one way is being a man yeah. of uh, being a man of your word. Yeah, yeah. You know? Being a man of your words, man. You gotta, I, I, I think I think man. that's the a uh, uh, person, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, don't be that. Don't be like that. But uh, yeah. not being a man of your word is, is mm-hmm. in my opinion, the number undivided word. attention. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Thank you, Bree. Yeah, mm-hmm. can't say look wrong way. Say, say. New gangsters wear skinny jeans, and mm-hmm. are they really gangsters, Yaku? Maybe are they really gangsters? <laughs> and then what did he, uh, Jr. say? Depending on the different ethics and ethics and morals, respect can be more valued than status. You can have a good reputation and be broke, while someone who is mm-hmm. who be a snob when his status be. No, nah, that's true. I actually think 100%. No, no matter what, uh, you know, re, like respect is like more value. You know, yeah, because you can take that with you when you're yeah. gone. I mean, that's one of the forty eight laws of powers. You know, you know, guard your reputation with your life, man. You yeah. have to your reputation, your respect. I think that goes hand in hand. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's a lot. A lot of time, that's all we have. You know, yeah, agree. Um, yeah, hundred percent agree. Talk to people. Uh, talk to someone how you want to be talked to. If you don't want to be talked uh, all crazy, then don't talk like that to somebody else. Justin said no. Talk to the person the way you want to be talked. Yep. Just because you want you want jokes all the time, another person may not want it to be. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even um, then, I don't think that's necessarily a lack of respect. I think that's a personality clash. If it's like a joking sort of thing, sometimes you got people who are just naturally playful. Maybe they or, don't know when to stop. You yeah. know? Or, sometimes I yeah. get that too. I like to joke around. I don't like to take life too damn serious. But like, yeah. if you if you come at me and you be like, "Look, I really need to talk," then I know I'm. I I could, I could just sit down and be like, "All right." Yeah, let's talk. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. assume that I'm having a good time with you. That's it. Just assume that we're going to have a good time. Right. We, we're going to laugh. We're going to figure out a way to laugh. Um, but yeah, being a man, you were standing up for yourself. They might not like what you say, but they got to respect your decision. Yeah, that's that whole like back in the day with the bully. Yeah. You know, you know, back in the day with the bully bullies, you, you stand up to the bully. You know, he might get your ass whooped in the fight, but you know, yeah. in the end, it's going to be a respect of like, okay, at least you know they stand up for themselves. A lot, nine times out of ten, you know, if the bullying does, didn't stop, it would at least not be what it was because, um, yeah, it's like okay, you stand up for themselves. They know it's not just going to be some easy ride. You know, they know that you know this isn't going to you know, they know that you're willing to stand your ground. Which is a, yeah, you know, I don't know. That's a weird one, man. Because I feel like that's like a bit lost today. But the world is also so much more different than you know when I was growing up. When I was growing up, it was way simpler. Yeah, um, way way. You solve simpler. problems with your fist. I mean, I wasn't born in a barbarian age. Jesus I mean, Christ! In, 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 the <laughs> in the schoolyard, in the schoolyard, like, like when, when someone like cross your path and you're not, yeah, but you you solve it with your fist for boys. At, at well, I mean. Least. I mean, you. I think that the, first off, the thing is you could fight. But to be fair to that, I also didn't worry about you know uh, people coming back and shooting up the school. Yeah, yeah. Because we didn't have also, like yeah. yeah. So so that was not you know on the table the way it is today. Yeah. Um, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But still, even but even still, while you might not even be able to do it, like you know, fighting, mm-hmm. you know, like we like we used to do growing up. You can still stand up for yourself, you know, your ideals, your beliefs. Yeah. You know, um, and like you said, like, even if they don't like what you have to say, there should be a certain level of respect. Now, I will say this. I do think you need to be open to new ideas um, and other beliefs, you know, and truly listen to what the other person has to say, uh, you know, if you're having a debate or, you know, whatever the case is. Uh to you know, not only like understand where they're coming from, but you know, you never know. You might learn something new. It might even help you strengthen your point of view yeah. somehow. So it's not like stand up, stand, uh, you know, stand up for yourself. Say what you say, 
just bulldoze through things mm-hmm. without, you know, taking it. Being open mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to keep an open mind with things. But, you know, yeah, stand your ground. Mm-hmm. You know, if you truly be- if you truly believe in something like to his heart, like, yeah, you know, like I said, stand your ground. Yeah. Make your point. Yeah, Andrea. You know? Yeah. It's, yeah, and this is how you earn the respect of a woman. Look, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> I don't want to be your friend. I like you. I like. I see you more than just a friend. I see you in a more romantic kind of way. Yeah, well, I mean, that is having respect. Dude, I yeah, mean, yeah. Joking aside, this is, is how you get in friend zone. That is, that is having a like, respect. Ladies, how many, how many guys have you friend zoned? Because the, and then after they said... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm down for friend, and then like deep down, you know their true intentions. Yeah, they still well, want to I mean, stick but, some but, in, you know. And but that's the thing that that took, that goes back to. Uh, oh damn! Did Julie get kicked out? I think she did. But anyway, no. who who yeah. be kicking Julie out? I going? don't know what is going on. Who made uh, who made her who, who did she <laughs> make angry? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it gotten quiet. <laughs> it's gotten quiet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he um. Uh, but no, real talk though. Uh, you know that goes back to self respect. You know, a lot of dudes. We talked about this in other shows. We had a whole show dedicated to friend zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, a lot of dudes get put in a friend zone because they walk into the relationship that they want with someone dishonestly. It's yeah. dishonest if you want to be more than friends. Yet you come in under the pretense of being her friend. Like lay it out is, on the table. Yeah, lay that is out. that is being dishonest because yeah. if she, you know, if, if you become friends, all of a sudden you drop this bomb like, mm-hmm. "Oh, I like, I like you from the ge- beginning." This and the other. You should have known that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like ruined their heart because then you want to be mad at her. Like she put me in the friend zone. It's like no, you put yourself in the friend zone. Mm-hmm. And you that's know? not a lot of accountability. And we got a whole episode yeah. on that too. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And the accountability, it all, it, you know, we keep referencing all the episodes, but it all does go together, hand in hand. Yeah, it's all hand in hand. And it's mm-hmm. like if you, you know, if you just say that, like, hey, I, you know, I want a relationship with you. I'm interested. I'm taking you out. And she says, no, let's just be friends. It, it's, it's not only it's okay; it's advisable to say, I'm not interested in the friendship. You know, that's not what I want. So, mm-hmm. you know, nice knowing you. Hit me up if you change your mind. You know Perfect. what I mean? Yep. Perfect. Yeah. And, 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 and move on. And, you know, that is, a, it shows a level of self respect. It shows yep. a level of value on your time. Mm-hmm. You and, know, and, 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 and that's the thing, too. You, you, as, as a dude, you might get hit with the like, that. he was rude. Why can't he be friends? Why can't, you know, that kind of stuff? So you, you, you know, you will hear that. Mm-hmm. You will hear that. But it's more to it than that. And that's just showing like the respect that you have for yourself. You value your time. You value what you want. You know. Mm-hmm. And ladies, if you hear that, how would you feel about that guy? Would how, <laughs> would you would you give him more respect based off his own decision? Um, mm-hmm. And then let's let me just kind of read off some of these questions, um, some of these comments before we move on a little bit more. Let's see. You just got to find a boundary. Yeah, Justin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bree agreed. She said, right boundaries are really important. Sometimes you cross the line and you might not even realize it. So pay attention to the reaction. She said, we're not friends. <laughs> uh, let's be friends. Quite a few, right? He, he letting you know he wants you. Uh, that's been <laughs> happening a lot lately. Getting kicked out. Took me ages to get back in. What's going on, Julie? Um, I, think, I think it's because um, it's the caps. It's the capital letters you got. Uh, yeah. Find your balance, Mitchell. Too much one, too much in one direction is too aggressive. Oh, wh- what do you mean by that, Yaku? Um, I have a, quite a few guy friends, but you know, if you have that respect for that girl, be okay. Lay down the rules and move on. Julie just let me know. Uh, uh, how would and Jr. said, how would you, yeah, res- uh, how would you respect a decision or a behavior you don't support? Yeah. Personally, I I didn't like drugs in my relationship, but I love the person. I love who they are, but not what they do. I know. Don't I think I, 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 I will. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah. I will say this with that uh, mm-hmm. to address that. I definitely see what you're saying. I'm not saying you respect their decision that they want to do like mm-hmm. drug or something like that. You know, I, I I that's I think that's almost outside the realm of this. That's you know, in a lot of cases, that's a harmful behavior. Mm-hmm. 
you know, um, and it can lead to other like more serious problems down the road. So, you know, I don't think it's so much you're respecting that person's decision to do drugs, you know, and even on that, it's like, you got to look at, you know, what you want and having that self-respect. Yeah. Well, you having that self-respect, you know, like you say, it's like you don't want drugs in your relationship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for you, that sounds like it's a deal breaker, regardless of how much you care about this person. At that regard, I think, you know, it goes back to this other person. If this other person doesn't. It, basically, if this other person wants to, like, choose, you know, that lifestyle over being with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you got to, you know, you got in that regards, you got to respect their decision and let them be, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Because, you know, I know from experience that like people who deal with drug stuff mm -hmm. or any kind of addiction, it's it's a roller coaster ride. It's up and down. And a mm -hmm. lot of times they got to hit rock bottom before they can like let mm -hmm. that shit go, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I don't think that's so much of you respecting their decision mm -hmm. to use drugs, which yeah. you are respecting is the decision between mm -hmm. you can have this lifestyle over there with that, or you can have a life with me, but under these guidelines. Mm -hmm. If they pick that lifestyle, all right, I respect that decision. I'll leave you alone. I'll pull if, away. Yeah. If it's something that I could live with, let's uh, to go back to what Yaku was saying, too. You can't just be, like, one-minded in a yeah. single direction. Now, if I see that person, like, okay, can they be a good friend? And I could look past that, and I'm thinking, like, okay, we could still be friends. And I don't have, I don't want anything else other than being friends. And I could, and I could say that to myself, then yes, I, I wouldn't mind. But, you know, for myself, if that's the person I want to be with and that person doesn't want to be with me, I have to stand firm on what I believe in. And that's just what I believe in. But if I could be like, all right, you know, I don't mind being friends. I, I don't mind seeing her with another dude, then, then it will be all good. But it, it's really up to me at that point. Um, yeah. 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 Like I said, I don't think you. Yeah. I don't think you're respecting their decision to do drugs. You're respecting mm -hmm. yeah. their decision that they would rather have that lifestyle over there than a lifestyle with you. Uh -huh. So that's definitely a thing. And then Yaku said something about mm -hmm. uh, being friends is good. It's a lean man. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not one of those people who's like men and women can't yeah. be friends. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying that like if you are romantically interested in a person and it's not reciprocated. And you don't want to be in the friend zone, mm -hmm. then you need to have that self respect. You need to have that amount of respect for yourself to walk away and let that go. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll be friends with Shakira any day. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Guys can be really great friends versus girls. I have more guy friends and girlfriends. I mean, yeah, guys and girls, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I'm not saying guys can't have girlfriends. I'm just saying if they want you and they got the respect. For yeah, but once again, that's, yeah, I, I, that, that's the key. If it if it starts platonic, you know, if yeah. it is a, just a platonic, I, be, I believe men and women can have platonic friendships. I'm not one of those folks who's like men and women can't be friended. Like that's that's an idiot's way. Of the, in my in my opinion, mm -hmm. that's that's like I I will no, that's not fair. I won't say idiots because I can understand where they're coming from certain points, but I just I don't think that to be true. That said, if like I said, if if <clears throat> one's romantically has starts off with having romantic feelings, you know, and I, think and I can't look money. past that. I can't look past that. Like that's yeah. all I want. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Once again, that's another thing. That's a personal choice, though. If you like, ah, yeah. you know, I'm cool with us just being friends. Yeah. But then, and, and to me, you need to have that mindset of like, okay, we are friends now. Like yeah. I had, I might have started off having some romantic, but mm -hmm. I've got I, that's dead. I've killed that. I'm moving on. I'm doing yeah. me. But we like, can be, we're yeah. friends. We can like, be friends. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like you put yourself in a friend zone. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? it, it's also like if I see you with another person, I'm not gonna get salty about that neither. Yeah, definitely. Right. You can't yeah. be like, well, he ain't treating you right yet. So I mean, if that's something that I could uh, look past, then for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did Yaku also say? Hey, I know some mm -hmm. girls that felt that upfront direct approach wasn't for them. They wanted to feel the person out before seeing them that way. I mean, maybe, but maybe. I think I, I do think that like the problem with that is like I think as a dude, you end up putting yourself in a way in a position that's like you could be easily exploited. 
You know what I mean? Um, and if the if the girl who wants to do the filling out isn't like an upfront, honest person, mm-hmm. you can easily find yourself in a position where like you know this you've been exploited <laughs> for like boyfriend mm-hmm. responsibilities <laughs> without like you know boyfriend you know benefits benefits yeah, yeah. Not, and, and not and not just sex people you know what I yeah mean. like you could like just, the, the whole the, hand. the understanding the all that the other stuff hand. that comes yeah with being a boyfriend so yeah. yeah that's that's the that's the thing with that you know mm-hmm. it's really more of the protective stuff and uh, right. showing humility so showing humility yeah that's Speaking a big one for me right, too. very big what's up mary how you doing yeah yeah that, that, that showing humility is a big one for me like i think that like you know what you is no that. sex <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh yeah <laughs> yeah uh, Marina was like, what is <laughs> my um, you know yeah. what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about just you cut away you know <laughs> and then that's yeah. it blue balls you know I what I'm saying. I said more more than just okay, because that no, that's the thing. And like, look, you, y'all got to be honest. When the dude says like you get all the boyfriend like responsibilities, but none of the benefits, the number one mm-hmm. thing women think is like he's talking just about sex. You know, yeah. like, I mean that's just, yeah. that's, that's yeah. honest, and it's like, I mean that is part of it. Don't get me wrong, but it's more to it mm-hmm. than just that. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, Blue ball sucked. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, ball y'all, y'all made another comment. He says, I do have a good amount of lesbian friends. It wasn't even play. Yeah, well, that's because what you have is officially off the table from jump. So, <laughs> so I mean, you know, that, this doesn't apply in that situation, Yaku. Off topic, but you know what is the biggest blue balls? Was when I was ordering stuff on Uber Eats and I was planning it. I was like, oh, I can't wait for it to come. And, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. Add to cart, purchase. Sorry, not available. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I was ready for, for it. I was ready. <laughs> you was ready for your for Yeah, like, I knew how it tasted, through. like, before I hit buy. You know what's even worse than that is, like, when you do get the that. order and they leave the stuff out? Or, like, like they don't get, get it right? Like, getting like, chicken like, nuggets with no sauce? Them yeah. dry ass nuggets. Yeah, you yes. get dry nuggets or like dry you don't nuggets. get your fries or they forget your yeah. cheese or something. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. no. or they put extra onions and you hate onions. No, I'm yeah, I'm 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 usually very uh, mm-hmm. forgiving with stuff, but they, but like when I especially when it's like something I want and I give in and get it, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I've been wanting like they sit Smurfs. there and it's messed up. Oh. <laughs> Smurfs also only had like one or two women in their village, was a lot, which is a whole nother. <laughs> they, you know, they've been sleeping around. <laughs> Situation. They, so, they've been I sleeping mean, around. Yeah. You know. Uh, you yeah. Know, they, never, they never addressed the Smurf head controversy. But if you choke them, they probably turn purple. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Yeah. Showing humility. Yeah. Showing yeah. humility. Don't be. I mean, I, we touched on that earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, don't be ego. Don't be ego driven. Yeah. You know, if you don't know something, say you don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. If you, you know, it's just, yeah, it's really just checking your ego. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like how, I like how it all turned sideways. <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> There's no girl that was created by the villain. Oh. I haven't That's watched it. Smurf. That, oh, was, that, probably was, that was way that, before that was, my time. That was I heard about purpose. it. <laughs> that was his purpose to like drive him mad. He just create a, a village full of angry little blue people with little white hats, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then they got one girl that just rolls up out of the blue, mm-hmm. no pun intended, mm-hmm. and just <laughs> just throw the whole village into chaos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. What's a Smurf? Yeah. Um, just, yeah. Just. Yeah, that was a horrible cartoon for like their their cartoon was, yeah, it was it was it was <laughs> problematic in other ways. You know, I was like, why is there only one chick in this video? <laughs> what is going on here? This is yeah. this is this is that, you know, that's what they call you know starts with the letter O. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> that starts with the letter O. <laughs> starts with the letter O, huh? Okay. Yeah. Next uh, question of the day for you guys: uh, Is there anyone in your life? 
right now, you know, that doesn't respect you. If yes, uh, what do you plan on doing? Um, we kind of touched base on this earlier too, <clears throat> which is um, a lot of people, they would do more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure. And to walk away from it is a lot easier to kind of confront it would be, you know, it's, it's stepping out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of people wants to do that. But if there's someone that's constantly just giving you all this like backlash and you're just not really feeling it, what are you do what are you gonna do about it? And that's something that you should like ask yourself. Even if it's family, if it's friends, if if it's that person that cares about you, whatever it may be, respect is in all types. It's not just yeah. in a relationship, right? We all know that already. So yeah. 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 I mean yeah. and like you said, it could be in all types. It can be, you know, do they respect mm -hmm. you as a person, do they don't respect you with something you believe in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so it's so, it's so many levels. Yeah, it's so many levels. So yeah, mm -hmm. and you got to guard your reputation. Like I said, a four day law of power, man. That's yeah, one of the, that's one of the the big laws, man. Like guard your reputation with your life. You know, you you have to. If someone mm -hmm. is like just blatantly disrespecting you, you know, mm -hmm. hardcore, um, you you gonna have to approach it. Chop them on, you know, chopping on the throat, just. Mm -hmm. You don't have to deal. No, you know what you do. I get them. I, I pull them out to the side. You know what I'm saying? I try to be a gentleman about it. I'm like, look. Because it'll give you an option. It'll give you yeah. an option. Yeah. I'm like, like do, 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 yeah. do we have a problem? What is the What is the issue here? Why Why do you the Why do you have a problem with me? Mm -hmm. You know. That's how. I mean, I've had to approach stuff like that in the past, and I, that's how I tried to do it. It's like, why? You know, what is the issue here? Like, what is the problem you have with me? Mm -hmm. Because it's obviously on your end. Because I know how I treat people. Now, if I did something where you felt disrespect and I didn't know, then all right, let's air that out. You know, mm -hmm. if I need to apologize, I will. And, you know, we can move it on. But, you know, if you just tripping, mm -hmm. then, you know, that's something you need to handle yourself. And it's like, you know, if you want to take it uh, a little bit further than that, you know, then at that point it is what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's some s and m stuff. Whoa, I missed something. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. everyone's talking about all the ladies in here. They're like, yeah, I'm out whoop my boyfriend's ass. <laughs> that, that's a lot of... Uh, There's a abuse. lot of violence. Yeah, why? That's why, a lot of abuse. I, I, look, I, I love how y'all, like, grouping together, but this whole... Uh, hold on. But what if that person is a narcissist and you can't talk to them? That's well, a very that's good a, question. That's a whole other situation. You might need to decide okay. if, you need to, if you want to yeah. deal with them. And, you know, if you even should at that point. <laughs> Yeah. Here, here's what I would say. Um, just because you've been together for 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever many years you guys been together, that does not mean that they should still be a part of your life. Even if they, if you have kids with them, and I get it, it makes it a little bit harder because it's a, it's more of an obstacle. But the situation doesn't change. The situation doesn't change. Yeah. You know, so, and you can live, so let's just say you, you've you been in that relationship for like, what, 10, 15 years already, mm -hmm. and then now, what, what are you going to do? You're going to live for another 15, 20 years on top of that, knowing that you're going to hate your life? Yeah. And I feel like life is too short. Me, That's me personally. I'm not going to tell you exactly what you were going to do, but yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was Sabrina. Uh, okay. You know, kid WRX. He came. It was yeah. up, my man. He came in a little hot there for a minute. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? He <laughs> fell. Uh, so Ms. Moon, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, woman punching bag. Uh, fuck your problem. I'm a good dude. You got beef. I got a girl. All right. <laughs> hey. Sometimes you gotta come in hot. All right. Sometimes, mm -hmm. so you know. Sometimes you gotta come in hot. <laughs> Yaku uh, made a reference. I yeah. I Turner wouldn't have that. I Turner also beat some people <laughs> down in public for not eating a piece of cake. So uh, you know, for all y'all that don't know, eat the cake anime. You know, <laughs> so that's a hell of a scene. You know, is um, that Food Wars? Is, is, are you talking about Food Wars? No, Mitchell. Oh, okay. Let's not do this, man. Let's not. Okay. Let's, let's not <laughs> What's that, Alan? <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, brother! Why? Uh, <laughs> no, that's that's a movie. It's what's love got to do with it? It's the Tina Turner uh, story. Okay, right. Yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, let's oh. see. I live with two of them. He is my punching bag, especially when I'm sleeping. And he decides to want to wake me up. Oh, damn! Getting violent there, Marina. I see you. I got that. All, that, that sounds like uh, that, that. That sounds like that sounds like also. something. That, that sounds like that sounds, that like, sounds like something like he might like. Yeah, that sounds like a game <laughs> yeah. y'all play together. So you know, think about how much you really want to share about that. You know, it's a look into your world. You do what you do, though. I don't judge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, Jesse said, don't start the narcissistic conversation. Sally had my life. Okay, I started ignoring them. I love my boyfriend. He's the biggest teacher, but he's annoying. Um, yeah, it's a good compromise, right? He teaches you. He annoys you a little bit, but you love him. Uh, that's hard for me. Mm-hmm. Another reason why I'm in therapy. There you go. I'm moving on. I'm not going to read uh, what Julie said. How do you lose respect, Justin? How do you How do you lose it? Not being a man. Of, well, not being a man of your word. You lying, being dishonest, yeah, deceitful. Yeah. Be, being, yeah. being dishonest and deceitful, I think, are the, are the two number one ways to lose respect. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it's just, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, how can you, it, it, it's two hand in hand. How can you mm-hmm. respect someone if you feel like they're either, they're always lying or being dishonest? Or, oh, yeah. if they, or if they deceived you, you don't respect that person. You're weary of that person. You don't, you know, you can't believe anything they say. So I think, you know, there are a lot of ways, but those are the two major ones mm-hmm. in my book. Those are the two, uh, those are the two biggest red flags. Mm-hmm. And it's so much easier to, to lose respect than to gain. Like you'd be doing everything right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Which is, but yeah, which is, you know, that's another weird thing. Though that's kind of that. That part goes more into uh, like the stoicism way, where mm-hmm. to a degree <laughs> there is a balance because you. I think it's a lot of ways you do have to be unaffected. Mm-hmm. You know, if you know you move with respect, if you have a high level of self respect for yourself, if you treat people a certain way, mm-hmm. if Someone says they don't respect you because of some trivial BS. You, you know, you got to realize, you got to think about what's worth your attention and what isn't. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if they don't respect you because of something trivial, it might not be worth your energy or your your power. You know, your mm-hmm. you know, for you to even address that. But uh, you know, if they are slinging mud on your name. Mm-hmm. It gets start affecting your work. It starts to affect your. Yeah. You, you need to address. It's it's the whole. I don't know how many uh, Game of Thrones fans we had, but my boy Tywin told Jamie once, like the line doesn't concern itself with the actions of the lamb, you know. And it's like you got to be above that stuff. But you know, if enough of them people come together, you do have to address that stuff. You know, he made mm-hmm. that point also, which you know it's just true. And I mean, so much in life, it's a balancing act. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You can also always lose a karate tournament to lose. <laughs> listen, man, leave my boy Johnny alone. All right? Johnny, <laughs> oh, yes. J- listen, Johnny. Cobra Kai, season three. We need season four. Um, for but, real, though, no, I yeah. went through that in, in like a weekend. Like Johnny, Johnny days. is my personal hero. Okay, I. <laughs> He's just old school. That's it. Which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Hill and you have to quote Tywin. I want to stay asleep. Oh, <laughs> yes, I did have to quote Tywin. I love Tywin Lannister. He was my favorite. I did a whole Game of Thrones series. Anyone who disagrees, come see me, and we can have that discussion. But Tywin I, Lannister, straight beast. I avoided Game of Thrones. It's too many, too many episodes. It's amazing. Season eight is not that good, but I mean, it's a spectacle. So I say. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, they respect me so far, but if they don't, I will apply karate techniques. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Andre. <laughs> karate yeah, yeah every, everybody's doing karate moves in here. Uh, it actually know, right? takes more effort uh, to disrespect than to respect, at least for me. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. At least we know you're coming from a good place, Justin. Other Justin. Uh, yeah. Are they, yeah. Yeah. What else people say? Yeah. That's why I watch so much comedy. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, com- you, anyone who knows me knows I'm a huge comedy, mm-hmm. stand up comedy, mm-hmm. whatever fan. Mm-hmm. And it does. Yeah. I Bill mean, Burr, I, man. I quote a, Bill. I, well, I quote a lot. One of my favorite, Patrice O'Neill. I quote him all mm-hmm. the time. We wouldn't even be standing here had I not, mm-hmm. like listen to that dude. And it's rough. Anyone who decides to look him up, I let you know right now. It is. <laughs> Rough, all right. It's not like an easy <laughs> listen. You go, your feelings will be hurt. <laughs> you know, yeah. like things you don't like, but yeah, he was a very smart man in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, you can Johnny also get a B minus on the oh. test. Yeah, especially in the Asian Asian family. 
Get Cobra a B Kai, minus. Cobra Kai for life. Like, uh, yep. No, nah, this Eagle Fang now. Eagle Fang. I mean, Eagle Fang <laughs> all the way. I got to get one of them shirts on. <laughs> that Eagle but Fang. Eagle Fang has fangs. <laughs> Don't be shut up. They'll throw the shirt at you, man. Eagle Fang is where it's at. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you yeah, I forget to be on the ticket. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I listen, I don't know much, but I know Asian families. Yeah, you don't, don't get no B. Yeah, they it's don't not play. An a, <laughs> just on. They don't um, play about the B. Yeah. So that, yeah. that is maybe may, maybe the next generation is gonna be a little bit more lenient. You know, now that you can almost do anything you want just because you're on the internet, you don't even need like a license. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Hilly Moon. I'm sorry. You guys don't get shit. That's right. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I love you. Yeah, it's human. Uh, it's my. Uh, it's my husband that. Uh, that's the Eagle fan, honestly. Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> like, like football. Oh, football! I told you, I don't mess with Philly fans in any sports. I'm talking about Eagle Fang Karate, ran by Joey. Yeah, you know. By Joey, by John, Johnny, John, John, by, John, John, by yeah. Johnny Lawrence. Hell yeah, Eagle Fang is where it's at. Okay. Eagle Fangs don't get <laughs> a, shit on. Uh, yeah. a, that's a terrifying shirt. Anyone who don't see you can see Cobra Kai watch it. You'll see. That's a Season terrifying Season three, you will see it, yeah. No, that's a terrifying mascot. That thing is yeah. terrifying, man. That's one of my favorite, um, favorite scenes. Mm-hmm. Love that show. Um, but let's see. So yeah, um, you know, for the re- whole relationship part stuff, uh, chasing her—that's another way to lose respect. And it's not so much the respect that you're losing; you, you're losing a lot of attraction. So she's she's not only losing respect for you; it's like, all right, you got nothing on going for yourself. You just keep chasing me. Like, what do you have going on? What are you really doing for yourself? Well, um, once, again, once again, you know, not to cut you, but it circles back to self-respect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, putting her on a pedestal like. Ain't, ain't nobody want to be put up like that, especially if they're if they've seen it their entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. after like for 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 women for women or girls past fifteen and up, they they've been hit on so many times already. By then, they already know what's going on. So it's kind of like I know when you're like putting me on a, pe- a pedestal. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, a big one is uh, being too anxious, too, because being too anxious, you don't know how you feel or where, where, where they stand with you. So you're trying to find something out. And my advice is anytime you, you, that you feel anxious, especially men, is once you feel anxious, really sit back, think about it, talk to a friend. You could be anxious all you want. You could be crying your heart out. You could be whatever. Just don't. Just make sure you don't do it in front of them, in front of that, in front of her, and that's it. Yeah, I did. Because I she don't want to see that shit. Well, I, yeah. I will say this: I do agree. Yeah, definitely take that step back. Take take a step that step back. back. You know, talk to your homie. Do whatever you gotta do. Breathe deep. You know, get your mind yeah. right. You know what mm-hmm. I mean. Mm-hmm. You know, concentrated breathing. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. ninth configuration, whatever the hell they call it. It, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, it man. Uh, if anybody, Andrea said something about it man. I love it man. I don't know how I feel about Mike Tyson being in one of them, but <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it man was gangster though. No, I, I, I wasn't feeling it. It, it kind of didn't fit to the story. Like, no, I'm saying all overall. Oh yeah, it, it man one it, and two was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. If, if man loved one, it. I, was, I, I was, was another it level when he fought all the black belts in the, yeah, in the yeah, yeah. like that's well, one of the Rice, greatest. Dog, well, that's Rice. one of the greatest things ever. Yeah, hold on now. That half a potato whooping that down. No, don't mess with the bed. Yeah, yeah, that was beastly, man. Yeah. You know that was beastly. Uh, yeah, big. I pre- yeah. I gotta watch that last one though. I feel you though. Yeah. No, it, it definitely fell off. One and two were definitely the best. You know, yeah, the one, three the was one. like they needed. They needed something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, um, but I like the guy in four, the uh, yeah. Scott Scott mm-hmm. Atkins, the white guy who's a martial artist. He's he is a beast of martial artist for real. Okay, so I gotta watch. I'm curious. Wing Chun yeah. style, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see what Yaku said. Yeah, you could also take your father's place in the war and get thrown <laughs> out because you were <laughs> pretending to be a guy soldier. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. I miss Mulan. Uh, let's see. I love the complete saga in Wing Chun. Yeah, actually, I if correct me if I'm wrong, I think Wing Chun was made for girls, especially where the feet is pointed in, is to protect their 
you know, below the waist. And that's the stance there. Um, I used to get honked on every time I walked home from school. I would flip them off. Yeah, exactly. So you, you've been, you know it already, Bree. So yeah. you, it's like you can smell it from a mile away. Uh, I was too emo back then for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, but, yeah, let's move on to our next slide. No, go ahead. Yeah. And how do you maintain it? Lastly, how do you maintain it? So you can – how does it look like? How do you earn it? How do you lose it? Now, how do you maintain it? Uh, well, we it's funny. We already t- paid, uh, we touched on we, it a little We already bit. touched on a lot of this, but yeah, no one will ever do or say anything to you that you don't invite them to do or allow them to do, which is, yeah, th- that self-respect, yeah. you know? If you let people disrespect you, then you will not be respected. It's pretty much all that, yeah. how that goes. Yeah. Um, you know, staying congruent on what you say, you know, that's just, yeah, just be, being a man of your word, being a person. Mm-hmm. Being a person of your word. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. They should know that you're not afraid mm. to walk away. Oh, yeah. That's also, that, once again, it goes to what we're saying, the self respect, where yeah. you got too much self respect to be, you know, I don't want to say put, be put in a lower position because that's not exactly mm-hmm. what I mean. But, uh, you know, yeah, you, you know what you want. And if, you know, that can't happen, it's not that you're mad or upset about it, but you have mm-hmm. enough self respect to be like, hey, I, you know, I'd rather walk away than to be in a position that I'm really not comfortable with or that's dishonest to what I really want, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's see what the JR say. I thought girls like being chased. Chase because I'm anxiously confident because I know what I want or am I wrong? I think uh, it depends on the chase. You know, there's a there's, it depends there's on a the pursuit. Yeah, it depends on it, the pursuit. There, there is a line between you know being like kind of playfully persistent and then yeah. being desperate. You yeah. know, if you, and you know, I think you sound like to me like you know that line. You mm-hmm. know, you you know what you're doing. But uh, like a JR a lot, knows a the difference don't. between yeah, a lot of people don't yeah. Yeah, between you know, yeah, playfully kind of brute pursuing yeah. and it being just needy um, and like you know overly just like hey, what you doing? Hey, what you doing? That kind of stuff. That's yeah, like, yeah. Like an example would be like okay, so for example, maybe you're in a relate, not in a relationship yet, but mm-hmm. you know she likes you, and you know that already, and you guys been talking on and off a lot already. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, you you know, hey, maybe she had a yoga class, and you 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 texted her, and she didn't respond for an hour, and then she went out to eat with her friends, and she wasn't really checking her phone; she was just having a good time. And then you know, maybe she got she went home; she was just exhausted. Maybe a battery died, whatever. And then she didn't. It's been five hours, and then all of a sudden she turns on her phone. She's been thinking about you, maybe, and then all of a sudden she looks at it. And, Got get, you just get this flood of text. It's like, hey, where you been? I've been trying to get in contact. That's the type of anxious that I'm talking about, where that guy doesn't really know where he stands, and he's he's just, he's out there seeking for validation. And I think that's the part that I was missing earlier. It's like he yeah. he needs something to feed himself, so he will feel better about where he stands with her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see if uh, Yaku said if you have respect, you. Continue just oops, my bad. Yeah, you can just continue. Yeah, rich. Doing so you, rich. Yeah, the, the legend continue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chase. Uh, Bree said, "My problem is I engage too much and want the situation to be squashed instead of left in the air." Mm-hmm. Uh, I will say, you know, it's good mm-hmm. to like acknowledge stuff that's a problem, but yeah. there is mm-hmm. a thing you do need to know when to walk away or just let some stuff go. You yeah. know, that's a, I think that's Keep important. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, no, no, mm-hmm. great for you. Yeah, thank, no, no problem. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, we yeah. appreciate you always like coming yeah. in and, yeah, and yeah. contributing. And like, you know, you always have great questions. Mm-hmm. They're like great mm-hmm. insight into things. Mm-hmm. There's been a, more than a few times more where, than you a few got, times. where you got where you <laughs> said something deeper than we was even saying. Well, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Much appreciated, bro. Thank you, man. Um, lastly, before we move on to our next, uh, which is, you know, they should know that you're not afraid to walk away. Just knowing that there is a boundary where, look, I'm cool with you and everything, but hey, just don't, don't, yeah. don't cross that right. line. That's it. Once, once again, something else we've talked about a lot. You know, being willing to take mm-hmm. that L. Yeah, being willing to take that L, and then and walking away. 
Yeah. You know, just yeah. 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 Because you know, you you just you have that level of respect for yourself. Right. See you, no. Julie. <laughs> yeah, I switch off my phones. Stop calling me. <laughs> well, I'm not getting involved in that. I'm not getting involved Anyways, in it at all. Um, yeah, today's Thursday. So we we do have a quick little shout out that we want to do. Mm-hmm. And we got a quick shout out to JR. Yes. Of course, you know, we, we got a little ahead of ourselves already. Yeah, for but, real. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, definitely, man. You know, we like yeah. to. You know, show show appreciation for the folks that's mm-hmm. been coming in and supporting us. Like, thank y'all. And they are is definitely one of those people. Like we said earlier, always yeah. had like great insights, great mm-hmm. questions, or it just expands on like an mm-hmm. idea that we had. Where it's like, why the hell didn't we, we didn't even think, about we think of that? <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about this for two days. We didn't think yeah. it out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it's much appreciated, man. And just yeah, yeah sure. thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, just you know, give him a quick follow. He also uh, does. Uh, this too. I think he's on a newer app. I believe it is called Spoon. Spoon. I still haven't downloaded it yet, Jr. I need to get that. Um, uh, but for sure. Um, and and Jr. actually asked me to ask you too if like one day you you down to do uh, an interview. Oh you know, yeah, just, yeah, of uh, yeah, yeah, for of sure. Course. Yeah. I mean, as, I know we've been saying mm-hmm. this, but we really are. We working out the details and moving to like a, yeah, like a Twitch screen stream. Mm-hmm. And then um, setting up where we have a YouTube channel, which, you know, have, like, clips of for things from our stream yeah. and Twitch. We're yeah. getting all that together. It, I won't find a lie. It's a little bit more involved than I thought it would be. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They make it seem like yeah. it's, like, plug and play, but it yeah. ain't. Yeah. Uh, but, no, once we get that started off, you know, thank God we mm-hmm. take IG Zoom and mm-hmm. stuff. We'll definitely set up, man. Mm-hmm. I, would, I would love for us to have interviews with people. JR, mm-hmm. hell yeah, man. You'd be one of the first. Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so thank so you, thank you man. I appreciate it. Um, and he he does haircuts too. He used to give me haircuts. I used to be in a Super Smash Brother group called Bayesian from the Bay Area, and yeah. So uh, that is hilarious. That, that is, is very Asian. Bayesian. I don't have any use for a barber anymore. He uh, might be able to, you know, because do you know right there. the right. Lord snatched the hair off the top of my head. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not. You know, I'm not resentful. I'm not angry about that no, at all. No. Um, but we but did. he did. You know, <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just decided I didn't need. It. Maybe I was. You know what? And maybe that was me needing some humility. Maybe I was yeah, too full was, of myself. That, that was and, weird, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I was too full of myself. And it was like, let me knock you down a peg or two. Yeah. It just yeah, took yeah. it all. Just took it. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't even yeah. go to war or nothing. It just left. You just know, snatched. <laughs> yeah. just snatched it. Like a punk yeah. is just right out the front too. It's not even yeah. like nicely it's, going. It's it's for real. It, like it didn't like go patch by patch or like just whole head. Nah, it just it, you know what it is. I lost the patch like right up front. It's like it yeah. wasn't even like in the back where you know I'm kind of tall, so you wouldn't see. It's yeah, like yeah, it like it like he just took my hairline. Mm. You know what I mean? My lineup. Yeah. It just it there is nothing to line at a certain. Point. It's like a solid, like yeah, four, yeah. three inches of like oh, nothing yeah. to lie. And it's just like, yeah. So maybe, maybe, maybe I, maybe I needed some hubris in my yeah. life. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. I so never, yeah. <laughs> never had. I never have finger wave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not feeling. Uh, um, but nah, it's for real. Yeah, barber. But yeah, line. You know, brother Collar mm-hmm. using a nice lineup. Just saying. Little you know, lineup. Yeah, yeah. You we know, can work some out. When things open up, when COVID, when COVID ain't what it is, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Before we move on, let's see what Bree says. She said, Mitchell, where's your j Park sweater? I ordered it a long time ago when he was here. I never got it. Um, yeah, I'm still looking for my refund. So, uh, Jay Park, yeah, it's been they, a long they, time. They stole your money? They stole my money. That's messed up, man. I don't but think it's cool. You know what? I, I listen to his music enough, so... Mm. Have it, Jay. Have it, Jay. Um, just the normal Oreo, yeah. No more Oreo. Only you can control yourself. Respect. Bubble gang. Bubble gang. Uh, Discord, yeah. So we definitely need to set up a, one of those Discord. First of all, we need a movie. Something that we can all enjoy. Not just Mitchell didn't watch it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving on. Uh, yeah, for sure, JR. You're welcome. 
uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure, you know, uh, yeah, we, we definitely appreciate you for sure. Uh, I need an invite to the clubhouse. Self-respect earns it. Thank you, Andrea. Mitchell Worship J. Park sweater. Yep. I could send you a cha-cha jacket. I have a cha-cha cap. Uh, we, we this is how old I am. I don't even know what the hell cha-cha is. Cha-cha is uh, J. Park's uh, producer. Oh, okay. Um, he may, yeah, he makes beats. So if you ever hear, I need a cha-cha beat boy, like that's that's him. It's like DJ Mustard. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, because of J. Park, this is where I got, you know, uh, m- most of my people. <laughs> Yo, yeah, and, yeah. And, th- no, and thank you real for talk. staying. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad you can, <laughs> you know, yeah, see me as more than just hey, this guy just dances. Yeah, yeah. Cha yeah. Cha Malone. Yeah. Shout okay. out. Cha Cha Malone. Yeah. I'm, I might look that up one night. I might. I'm not gonna make no promises. I'm gonna try to be a man okay. of my word. So if I say, <laughs> <laughs> I might look um, it up. We'll see. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So we. we I don't got, respect the Jay Park. I've heard a few yeah. of his songs. I like. Him. He's good. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. But um. Yeah. To to answer some of the questions that we had earlier, when I asked that question, uh, do the people around you respect you, and why? Uh, one person said yes because most likely I've done something to help them. So. Yeah. yeah. Um. But also, I do want to put a point to that is just because you help somebody, excuse me, just because you help somebody doesn't mean they will respect you. It means they it, they have to respect you and your time. Yeah. Uh, I know that Miss Ellie ca- called her. Yeah, yes, yes, she did, Yaku. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yeah. yeah. A few times, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I remember mm-hmm. the lyrics correctly. Yeah. yeah all right. Another one. Uh, mm-hmm. Do the people around you respect you and why? Definitely mm-hmm. got to say no. No to, to that. that. Uh, well, that's a good know. question to ask yourself. Uh, one, one of the person that uh, asked me this, so yeah, it's like why, why, why? Yeah, is why, that, well, why? You, yeah, why is this situation happening? And, is that something that you're not putting out for yourself? Are you not standing up for yourself? And like, um, if it, yeah, and, mm-hmm. can, and the truth is, it's like, can you do something about it, and should you do something about it? Are yeah. also questions that you know, yeah. I that I think I would be asked. Like, you know, if you're talking about respect mm-hmm. from family members, uh, you know, it could be a little bit more complicated, but you know, is it even worth addressing? Do you see these people enough to really care? You know, uh, but if this is like a workplace thing and you feel like you ain't getting respect at work, then that's something you need to address because that's, yeah. gonna, you know, that's going to make your work life a living hell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if you, uh, you know, that late, if for ladies, it's like, are you just getting catcalled? You can't control men out there just doing the thing. You could, the best you can do is just kind of just put out that bitch shield and just, Shoot that off and be like, just keep walking. Just keep uh, Mitchell, it sounds like you're blaming women for being cat called right now. I'm just oh no, not no, 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 no. I mean, but you can't just control saying. the men out there. No, that's no. I, I get what you're saying. I'll yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I get what you're saying. Like people are gonna be people, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, control you know, what you can't control. Yeah, 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 I was, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Definitely get so, that. So V, yeah, mm-hmm. Mitchell, need to tell you just in case you never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on. Uh, I respect you, Mitchell. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Like do you? Do you really? Today. I got one too many L's in my name, but I, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take whatever. I take. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I appreciate so you get that respect. It. Yeah, I'm getting that respect. Uh, some do, some don't. I think because of various reasons. Um, yeah, uh, same thing. That goes back. What kind of questions are you asking yourself, and what are you willing to do to address it? Right. Mm. Uh, another person said, yes, most likely because I don't do things for someone else and stay true to myself and my beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Helen Miller said, you can't control anyone but yourself. And I, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, that's the ultimate control. Yeah. You, all, yeah. you can only re- control your reaction to things. Uh, yeah. Also, you know what, that qu- the answer to that question brought up a point that I wanted mm-hmm. to say that just hits me that I don't think we addressed it. There is a difference between being liked and being respected. Just because someone likes you doesn't mean they respect you, and just because you're not liked doesn't mean you don't have a have respect. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I do not think they go hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah, just wanted to mm-hmm. say that, folks. Yeah. All right. And uh, we got a few more, two more. Uh, it says, not as they should, so no. 
Okay. Well, it yeah. sounds like to me that you need to, uh, you know, maybe smack a few people. You know, maybe yeah. rough backhand. Just backhand and it's wear backhand. a ring. Wear a ring that has your initials on it when you backhand. Them, <laughs> you know, and just walk up and just hit them with it real quick. It's, yeah, you and know? make sure that ring says no. And let them know. Yeah, yeah like, let them know. And they'll be like, "Do we have a problem?" And if they say after you anything, smack them. and if they say anything but no, if they go, "Uh, you smack them again." You yeah. know, yeah, you keep yeah. smacking them until they until get, you see blood. Until they get the problem. <laughs> until they get it. Until do we have a problem? No. Okay then. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. That's what you Thank do. Thank you, Julie, for all them hearts. <laughs> or when it says unity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rick James. Mm. Which I know about that. Me, which uh, you know about that Chappelle yeah. show. Mm. Not a whole lot. I haven't really watched a whole lot of Chappelle show. Okay, we are gonna keep moving on. We keep moving uh, on to our last. What's that you say? Let me let me. me donate my Lupe to me. I don't know what that. Oh, I don't know what that means. That sounds adult. Love so, Lupe. Love Lupe. Lupe. Lupe is how I know uh, it. So yeah, I'm gonna let that go. Love to Mitchell. To you, Mitchell. Okay. Well, L U P E is Lupe. Yeah. I don't know what that Lupe means. Lupe Fiasco. I gave. I mean, two. he's one of my Thank favorite you, rappers. All right, now yeah. I see it. It, it gets masks. Yeah. Gets, yeah. Thank you. But, all right. You know what? PG thirteen oh. guys. PG thirteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna stay out of all this because uh, it's getting. It's yeah, because um, it's, it's getting, getting adult. It's getting very adult and uh, something adult. that. You got a fan club over here, right? You know, I'm just saying. Keep those feelings right there, right there. <laughs> and keep. Sometimes, sometimes it's important to keep what you have up here before it goes on the fingers. You know what I mean? Before it touches the screen. Are you trying to tell tell someone to think before they they post things? Is that I didn't say that. I'm just saying. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm too young to read some of these comments. <laughs> I feel like I'm too young to read any of these comments. You know, <laughs> I'm just an innocent boy trying to make it in this world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't make my ego bigger. Yeah. Don't do that. Um, keep those. What's OF? Onlyfans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, okay. You know, um, where you where you So where what do you, you guys try, think about make that real Tang making an OnlyFans guys? And uh what would you guys no, like to this see? Is, no, this, <laughs> is, this is not Wait, what did we discuss before? Audible? Audible, son. Audible. All right. I'm I'm, I'm all about I'm all about peace. I still got my candle what, here. I don't care about whatever oh, you do. You like candles. Nice. Okay. I'm, whatever, I'm, whatever, getting, whatever, I'm getting ready. Whatever you want to do. For that channel After of this yours, show? whatever you do <laughs> to make that money, you do. I don't judge. I don't need to know, though. Okay? I would be mm. part of that. You know, if you up there <laughs> <laughs> undulating <laughs> and doing whatever <laughs> you do. What do they do with OnlyFans? I don't know. I never, I never went on that site. I really don't. We're not going we're, we're, we're to talk about that <laughs> because <laughs> we want to buy wax. <laughs> we want to we want to monetize this. All right. Fifty Shades of Tang. Oh my God! Man, hold up! Wow. Line. No, no, you're gonna be over there playing Pony by Genuine, just pouring yeah, milk I, on actually, yourself. Is that what you actually? Can do? All right. So one of my uh, coworkers was like Mitchell, like, why don't you dance to Pony? Like, what do you know about like? <laughs> and I was like, why? She was like, look, like, all right, so. Yeah, she was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a popular, it's getting popular. Like, this is during that time. She was like, it's, it's getting popular. And uh, I think it, it would be nice on you, Mitchell. Like, you got you got some moves. Mitchell, you, Mitchell, can, you know, I was like, Mitchell, this was before OnlyFans. Mitchell, so, Mitchell, Mitchell, what's up? Mitchell, let me tell you so. You, <laughs> you, first and foremost, you was almost a victim of being sex trafficked, okay? Oh, she, was trying to pimp, she was trying to pimp you out. She was trying to turn you out. It's like, so you, you're lucky – that you kind of naively navigate in that situation. <laughs> no, because that, no, post, I, that, that woman is a predator. I'm going to let you know that right now. For your own safety, you need to stay away, okay? I would have got paid, though. <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. You don't get any of the money, all right? You're going to show up, and she's going to be like, I need my cut, and she's going to well, take it. That'll be my bank account. Okay? She's going to take the money. Bank. That, is, that, is a, that is a weird story. 
All right. It is, it is a weapon. If you're trying to traffic mental. Yeah, don't traffic me. No, I'm like, I, I like where I'm at. I, I like where I am at. And uh, Bree, I am glad that we are making you laugh. Yeah, if I go if I go on Wayfair and I see a ten thousand dollar locker <laughs> named Mitchell, I'm gonna be very scared. Okay. <laughs> For those, of you that don't, <laughs> for, y'all, for those of y'all that don't know, look Fight. it up. You, that you, means you, I need help. If I see, a, if I see the, the $10,000 Mitchell help Locker me. on Wayfair, I will be yeah. very concerned. <laughs> look, if, if you see Tuesdays and Thursdays with only Justin, and you see a Wayfair with my name on it, buy it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'll pay you bad. back. I need I'm your help. Be, I'm yeah. be very concerned. Yeah. Mitch is going to be dancing the pony with hot wax on his other think, uh, website. So, you know, yeah. for the people who are in here, uh, yeah, I can go do that. I don't I want any I'll, part of that because I still I want my audible like sponsorship. Pokemon onesies. I started with that. <sighs> this is Poke- getting destroyed. <laughs> like, what the, what the hell are you talking about? Listen, we was doing so well, man. We was we was serious. We was on track. Hey, yo, we, you know what I'm saying? Bid. We was this, doing a bid. We no, was okay, doing right, so right. good. All right, we was doing so good, <laughs> and, and then it went off on this this I tangent. Had, I lost. I, I felt like I lost all because, right there because you felt the need to talk about dancing the pony <laughs> and pouring hot wax on yourself. All I right, never you said got, about pouring hot wax on myself. You got candles. Somebody else. You I talk about make, I like making, this. A, I like making, a, making an OF account. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know. It, it, okay. Thank y'all for tuning in, people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, oh, well, how, how, how did it go from one dollar to one cent? I don't like because, where it's going. Because, because, they, because, they try, because they try to pimp you out, they going to keep they the are. money. All right? They're trying to keep the money. They're they going to smack you money. with the ring with their initials on it. All right? That's that's the life you live. <laughs> I'm going to keep a lookout. If I don't hear from you in a, in, in a few days, and I'm going to go on Wayfair, I'm going to see if I find that lock. Yeah, let, I, yeah. I, got, I got you. Or Ikea, maybe. I don't know. Maybe well, IKEA I got something, you know. IKEA is too big. I, I, I don't speak out on them. <laughs> they too big. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't know anything about wax. I don't understand it. Is it? Yeah, that's some that's some new level stuff. I'm not used to. Um, I like to keep it simple. So that's it. That's me. But that's it. That's all you're gonna get for that one cent. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Yes. Th- thank, thank you. you. Guys. Thank you. And I, and um, I apologize. No, we don't need to apologize. We don't need to apologize. They had a great time. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time is whenever we uh, when we do our lives. And of course, if you guys find this video content of value, you guys should show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equal to the value of this video. And without further ado, until next time, we are out, Justin. Where you where you go? I'm here. I'm listening. Uh I'm listening. Yeah, you just got messed. But uh yeah. 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 Peace, I don't guys. Know. Yeah, I, yeah, I see a lot <laughs> a lot's going on in the chat. We're out. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah. yeah. He'll right. be on his other uh, website in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jay. I see it. All right. <laughs> Only fan page. Man, 